Okay guys, so um, not really a vlog. Figured I would just do a quick intro. Mark Spatz over at UAV Tech dropped a video this morning with more Betaflight 4.2 tuning tips. And one of them was he said, if you're running your filtering at two, which I always do, then you might as well turn your gyro filter off and turn your D-term filter down to one because it reduces the filtering latency by I forgot what he said, if he said five milliseconds? Something, anyway. So, um, that's not something I've ever tried. I've tried turning my gyro filter off, but leaving my D-term filter at two, and it worked okay until something, and then it almost caught on fire. So anyway, I tried this on my FR7 and my CL1, both of them are on 6S, and it, it works. I'm, I'm really surprised. So, so what's happening is when you're reducing that filtering latency, as far as I understand, it's allowing the PID loop to work better. So, you know, less prop wash, um, better stick feel, all that stuff. Um, you know, as long you, you always want to reduce filtering um, to allow the PID loop to work better. So anyway, here's some footage from my CL1 from like literally five minutes ago. Yeah, it works. It's cool. I figured I'd just post a quick video. As always, Mark, thanks for the tips. Uh, you know, even for like a veteran like me, uh, you know, I appreciate the heck out of it. So keep doing what you're doing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.